Hey gang, welcome back to the all new Talk in the Orville, right here on this channel that you're watching right now on YouTube. Isn't that amazing? Well, we as Orville fans have been waiting for the official announcement of season four of the Orville. Now, don't get a scared, don't get a scared and think that it's not coming. It is coming. It's already happened. It's in the works. Well, <laughs> the fact that there is eventually going to be a season four of the Oroville uh, is in the works. They're not filming it right now or producing it right now. Uh, there's other things going on. Uh, but the all new, the guide to the Oroville, which is an all new book put out by the people at the Oroville and Dark Horse Comics uh, is coming out the end of September. I've already put out a video talking about how great it is. This, this, and that. It's great. But that was a spoiler-free review of the book. This is a spoiler. Uh, not necessarily a review, but a spoiler video about the book. Now, I can't show you. Uh, I have an advanced copy. Dark Horse sent me an advanced copy of The Guide to the Orville, written by Andre Bormanis, executive producer and writer uh, for the Orville. Also, just a pretty cool dude. Knows a thing or two about science fiction. Uh, I have an advanced copy of the book. It is amazing. I've learned so much about the Orville universe from this book. There are so many things about the Orville universe that I know that you don't know. Why? Because the book isn't out yet. You cannot get your hands on this thing yet, but you will in September. Just a little, uh, you know, a month and a half away or so. Uh, September 24th, I believe, is the day that the book comes out. And I'm going to share with you verbally the table of contents to let you know what is inside this book. And like I said, I can't show you the pages, but I can tell you about the pages. I can tell you about the book. If you uh, already know that you want this bad boy, it's coming out real soon. Uh, there's a link in the description of this video. Of course, uh, buying this amazing book, the deluxe edition or the regular standard edition, not only supports... The Orville and supports getting more seasons of the Orville, but it supports talking the Orville as well uh, because affiliate links and all and all that jazz. You guys, uh, I'm going to tell you about the table of contents. It it, it it's got what's in this book. Uh, the first thing that you get in this book is the foreword. Uh, it's an, a welcome. It's a welcome aboard uh, uh, message from Admiral Halsey. Uh, because this book is for new cadets that are just got um, a, a position aboard the Orville. Uh, it's not not only going to tell you about the Orville, it's going to tell you about the entire uh, utopian universe that the Orville resides in, lives in, and we would love to live in it too. So you get a foreword that's a great way. Welcome, cadet. Here's the ship that you're going to serve aboard. Here's your... Uh, the higher ideals that you should be thinking about and following while being uh, uh, a member of uh, the union, uh, being an officer. So you get a forward by Admiral Halsey. The next thing you get is a prologue. This is my favorite part of the book, and there's a lot of favorite things in this book, but this is the thing that blew me away, a prologue, a toast to the union. This is like a 10-page um, uh, uh, toast. It's a speech uh, uh, to the Union, how great the Union is, and it goes over the history of the Union, going all the way back to uh, before, you know, to our history, to things that are behind us, people that are living in the 21st century. Uh, it tells us where everything started, where this little utopian spark started. And then it, it, it goes through, it goes through the hardships that the planet Earth uh, uh, are going to go through in, in this history, in this uh, Orville universe. Uh, talks about a couple of decades that, not decades, a couple of centuries that were kind of lost to, to, uh, to history, lost to, to moving forward. It's the reason we have a utopian uh, future in the Orville universe, you guys. Absolutely blew me away. Could not get enough of it. 
Um, I'm fact, uh, uh, in fact, I'm going to uh, reread it here in just a little bit after I'm done putting this video up for you guys. Now we get to the numbered system, the numbered parts of the book. The first chapter, official chapter, is called The Ship and Its Mission. This goes over, as a new cadet aboard the Oroville, this goes over the creation of the ship, um, how the ship works, the mission of the ship, uh, why the fact why there even is a ship uh, called the Orville, what it's doing out there in space, what it's supposed to be uh, doing for for humankind and all humanoid kind or biological kind, I should say, not just humanoid, not in the Orville universe. Um, tells you everything you need to know to, to start your mission ab aboard uh, the ship and to be part of the crew. The next chapter is called Ship Systems and Equipment. So this goes over all the systems in the, sh in, in the ship. Gives you some uh, wonderful uh, high-res pictures and illustrations about every part of the ship, what it's for, um, uh, how to use it, history of, 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 of the, uh, the equipment, what, how it works, all kinds of you know, great things, tips, all that good stuff. Um, you're definitely going to need that if you're going to serve aboard the ship. Chapter 3 is emergency operations. When things are dangerous, when things are going wrong, when there's a red alert, uh, when, when security has to get involved. And aboard the, the Orville, that security per, uh, uh, chief is Tala Kiali. He used to be Alara Katan. Alara is talked about and mentioned in the book, and she has some things to say. She shows up in the book. Um, emergency operations. So if, if the SH hits the fan and there's just Jaloja everywhere, you're going to need to know what to do. And the emergency operations section of the book is going to tell you what you need to do to stay alive and to uh, help keep your fellow uh, officers alive as well. Uh, chapter four, senior officers. This section of the book gives you a breakdown of all the senior officers. We're talking Ed Mercer, uh, uh, Kelly Grayson, Bordis, John Lamar, uh, Gordon, <laughs> uh, 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 doc, uh, Dr. Finn. Uh, Isaac, it goes over everybody that's 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 on the up and up uh, in the ship, on the upper echelon, I guess you should say, uh, of the staff aboard this ship. So it tells you all the ins and outs, uh, who they are, what they do, uh, what they're like. It's, it's amazing. Now chapter five is the non-human species, uh, not just aboard the ship, but in the Orville universe, uh, species that the Union might come in contact with. You're going to need to know about these species. Um, uh, not just, you know, the Mocklins, but we're talking the Krill, Calavon, Choctaw. I mean, it, the list goes on and on and on. There's a lot of different alien races out there. The next chapter, and it's actually the final chapter, but it's like, uh, it's like, a hundred and some pages, this next chapter. It, it, it's the it's a big chunk of the book. Probably the biggest chunk of the book. Uh, altogether, the book is almost 200 pages. Are the personal logs. Chapter 6, or section 6, is the personal logs. Now, the personal logs are amazing. The personal logs are recounting missions throughout all three seasons of the Orville episodes to, to us, to us viewers, to us fans, to us Orvillians, uh, different missions on different episodes all throughout all three seasons of the Orville. Um, I guess they're going to have to make another one of these as we get more and more seasons. Uh, season four, there will be more, said Seth MacFarlane. This not only goes over the, the missions that happened, the missions that we're familiar with, but it gives us personal accounts from the entire... Uh, 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 the entire, I'd say cast, but the entire crew, the, the, the bridge crew, um, not just the current bridge crew, but also Alar Katan has some things to share about missions that were happening, uh, uh, uh throughout her, uh, 
career uh, aboard this ship, you guys. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, just getting the point of view of these characters that we that we know and love uh, on missions that we are all aware of. If you've watched the Orville, if you haven't watched the Orville, why aren't you watching the Orville? You are missing out. Your life is not as good as it could be if you have had watched the Orville. Um, and then after the personal log section, which is a big chunk, like I said, well worth it. There is the afterward and the acknowledgements. Of course, the afterward is like, hey, you know, how, how, <laughs> what are your thoughts on, on the Orville universe, on the Orville ship? And then, of course, the acknowledgements is thanking all the people that had anything to do with making the Orville and, and making this book. Very important thing that is inside this book, besides all the information I just told you, there is a schematic, a full, if it, inside the book, it's a full two-page schematic, beautifully drawn, uh, I believe by Matthew Cushman, I want to say, uh, wonderful looking uh, schematic of a ship, full color, uh, artistically drawn, gives you every part of the ship. There are rooms to the Orville that you have no idea even exist, but they are on the schematic. And not only does the schematic show you every room on the ship and where it's located, because it's a kind of a three-dimensional, not quite a top-down, not quite a side view, kind of an in-between, a diagonal view of the ship. Uh, there are rooms in the uh, quantum engines. There, there's, there's rooms everywhere. And then there's uh, bullet points. A lot of them that tell you exactly what every single room is and does. Uh, this this book is absolutely incredible. If you're a fan of the Orville, which of course you are, even if you're not, you are. You just have to watch it and, and a little bit more and get it. You'll eventually get to where the rest of us are. Um, it, 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 it's phenomenal. Now, if you get the deluxe edition of this book, not only do you get the book, some awesome, beautiful sleeve cover to it uh some other thing but you get oh and you get four discipline badges actual badges of the different disciplines that are worn by the different officers um you actually get a fold out a high quality hard it looks like it's a hardback fold out of the schematic of the ship you can put that up on your wall if if i get it it's gonna go right up there it's going to go right up there with, uh, I have the actual model of the ship right there, 3D printed, not official, and then a non-official, awesome Planetary Union Central. I'm pointing this stuff out. It has nothing to do with the video. I'm just a huge fan of the Orville, uh, and I think that, that proves it. But anyway, maybe right there where it says Doc in the Orville, I'll pull that sucker out, and I'll put the schematic right there next to Avis. Uh, so Avis could be all, all jealous of, of my swag. Uh, I highly recommend you get this book, you guys. The link is in the description. It helps everything out when you do. Now, of course, you can get the deluxe edition and get all the cool free free extras. Well, they're not free. You're paying for them. But you get extras or you get the standard dish edition. That's down there, too. Um, I guess that would help a little bit. But if you really want to help, the deluxe edition is, is what you really want. If you want to show that you are a hardcore fan of the Orville. So stay tuned to this channel. There's going to be more Orville news coming out soon, soon, hopefully. I don't know exactly when, but the more news we get, the more videos I'll be putting up. Uh, otherwise, we'll just be doing live conversations, getting together and, and talking about how much we love uh, Seth MacFarlane's The Orville. So keep it locked here. We're trying to grow the channel, the new talk in The Orville, get it back up where the preview one used to be we're so close to being monetized and when monetization happens that's when uh, the party really starts you hear that youtube so i'll see you all very soon and remember we all do better when we all do better together love you bye bye <laughs>